Tai Chi Gold Coast, contracted to the Australian Academy of Tai Chi in Chigong. A uh, special thanks to my trainer, Senior Master Rod Ferguson, and also special thanks to Samantha Hughes and her team at Active and Healthy City Y program. And this is sponsored through City of Gold Coast. Uh, these videos are available for you uh, on a live session Tuesday and uh, Thursday. Uh, Thursday session 8 to 9 a.m. Tuesday 8.30 to 9.30 a.m. Uh, and also you'll see them saved on Facebook under Brad Holmes, Tai Chi Gold Coast, uh, Tai Chi uh, Gold Coast event page, also on YouTube and also on Instagram under Brad Holmes. Just want to go through some very simple exercises a day. Again, my focus is on COVID-19, uh, so some very easy breathing exercises for you. Um, first thing I talk about is good posture. Good posture alignment, so we sink back into posture. Shoulder width apart, bending the knees, uh, sitting. So essentially we're sitting into the body, projecting the, the head up, chin in, neck erect. So we're sitting. Very simple exercise, gathering the air from, uh, comes through the uh, abdominals. We come up to the eyes. We sink back into posture. This is very good for calming the breath, calming the heart, calming and focusing the mind. And also we have the expansion through the feet, through all the muscles, stands, ligaments, actually wrapping around the bone, and then just relaxing. This is the yin aspect, so condense to contract. This is the yang, to expand. We can come up to here as well and just project out. Rolling over the hands, what I like to do is actually use all the rotational aspects uh, through the wrist and also through the fingers and to project and then to release. So notice how when I push down my hands, my body comes up, it projects up. When I release my hands, the body comes down. You can also just roll up and push and then just relax again. One of my favourite exercises, this is from um, Mind Power Chi uh, exercise I've been doing for some time. Hands is coming up to the eyes, rolling over the hands and projecting up. Heavenly lift. Coming back into posture. Let's do that one again. So we breathe in all the way through the body as much as possible. Just that long and flowing breath, a progressive breath all the way in. And progressively and slowly, just coming out. As we lower the body, the body naturally just breathes out as well. Sinking back into posture, just emphasis on the palms here to push in both ways. So we project through the palms, and we just release. Simple, simple exercises. Easy to do, I specialize in exercises which are easy to do, easy to remember. And these are just flow exercises for you. So sinking back into posture, projecting, releasing. is heightened through the chest, very good for any conditions, any, any lung conditions at all, um, asthma, bronchitis, cystic fibrosis, uh, emphysema, uh, dry hankering cough, any breathing difficulties. And this is a long and flowing breath all the way in. So we can come up to the eyes like this, and we can turn through the waist to our left hand side and push down. So lowering, lifting. Coming back into centre, releasing, lifting again as we turn to our right hand side. Coming back into centre, 
The exercise we do for the lotus, and I will be going through the lotus again for you, is pushing down and pushing up at the same time. Coming back in the centre, the elegant white crane stretches its wings in the morning sun. An exercise which I particularly love as well, and this one is from uh, Lohan One. It's um, hands us to, to here. See how my right hand is actually just sitting on the right hip. Left hand is coming down, the, the, the palm is facing down. We turn through the waist and we come over to our left hand side. Breathing in as we come up, breathing out as we come down. Looking to our right hand side, so we rotate through the through the waist. Progressively just coming up. I'm just using this as a flow exercise as well. Very good for hips. All the rotational aspects through the hips. It's a gentle massage for internal organs. It's very good for all the aspects, all the three major uh, group areas of the back. Very good for shoulders, elbows. When we do come down, expressing that movement through the palm as well, through the fingers. And relaxing on each side. Very good for flexibility. In fact, all the Tai Chi exercises are very good for that. So come over. Another exercise I particularly love to do as well is gathering. This is the low one, focuses the chi. There's two ways of doing this exercise. Palms can come out to here. The essential thing is we expose the palms, so we push with the palms, we extend through the fingers. Breathing in. Pushing out. Another way of doing this exercise, what we can do is the low hand hand. So we come out to here, we accentuate the second finger and also the thumb, but again the palm is exposed. Reason why I suggest these types of exercises is from the diaphragm we empty the breath through the internal organs, through the lungs. More the star wear that we do empty throughout the body uh, because it does stay resonant there. As much star wear as we can, we can empty throughout the body, the better because then we can take in the new wear. And apparently only 30, no, 16% of the atmosphere is oxygen. So the rest is friendly and unfriendly gases. We can also use this as an extension going out to the sides. Coming down, I'll just go through this slowly, sinking back into posture, and pushing up, and rolling over hands. This is particularly good for shoulders, um, all the emotional um, varying issues of um, responsibility, um, burdens, etc usually harbouring muscle stands ligaments, but particularly in shoulders. This is where we carry our responsibilities and obligations. Pushing back. I will be going through this exercise as well. It's one of my favourites. So we'll be doing this. Projecting. Extending. Releasing. Hands is coming up to the shoulders. You can see how the hands has come to there. That is a stand out extension through is from the shoulder, through the elbow, through the wrist, and through the fingers. And then just, just relax. It's like you've done the work, now you relax. 
So we have the yin aspect to here. We have the increase in yang when we come back towards the body. Gentle massage towards the kidneys. I always suggest that. Massaging around there. We also have the bladder meridians, which actually go down the go down the back as well. This area here is called Ming Men, right gate, Ming Men in Mandarin. So very important area for them. And focusing all the way through as we come down. And I'll change, just change that exercise again. So any uplifting exercises are very good for the are very good for the spirit as well. Just coming back into position. So sinking back into in position like this, projecting up. An exercise from Lohan Wan. From um, Shibashi Wan, I should say. Separating the clouds. Pushing up, extending. I also suggest this exercise as well. Sinking back into posture, we project up. We sink back into posture, we push down. So extend through the body. Coming back into center. Using this position as a neutral position to breathe out. When we breathe in, we come up. You can also come up on the toes to extend. Rolling over the wrists, rolling over the fingers. And also coming down just with soft fists as well. Coming down to here. We can push down. And then we can extend. We can open up the fingers. Open up the palms. Coming back. Extending up. Rolling out your fingers as well. And an exercise I did, a couple of exercises actually I do in the, in the beginning videos as well. With your hand, it's like a Dallas movement from here, from your right hand. We come back into centre. We breathe in, progressively breathing out as we turn through the waist. And we look behind, just as much as possible. Always just being loose, agile and flexible, please. Only going as far as what you feel comfortable. With that left hand, coming up as we progressively breathe in. We sink back into posture, turning through the waist. And we look behind us. It's like, oh, Ted's just walked in, so we're looking at Ted. Breathing in. And breathing out. Another exercise which is very good, particularly for the chest, for inspiring that, uh, that style resonant air, <gasps> enabling that vacuum to take in the new air as well. Simply wrapping around the hands like this, so we come back into centre, we breathe in. And it really doesn't matter where you put your hands, just velcro hands, velcro arms. Breathing out to them. Breathing in as we come back into centre, and progressively breathing out. Very good for flexibility. I find this is particularly good for the abdominals as well. Gentle massage for them. Turning through the hips. We sink back into posture through the legs so we do get that muscle loading. Uh, weight bearing exercise as well. We do get the projection up through the spine because we're lifting as we come back to breathe in. And we're condensing and contracting as we're breathing out. And this is the yin aspect. And breathing out to there. So just wrap your round arms. Just wherever they feel comfortable. Just do one more on the, on the left hand side. Breathing in. And breathing out. Coming down to hips. Rotation through the hips. Always suggest this exercise. Very good for digestion, ingestion, simulation, also for elimination. This is very good if we've been sitting for too long. I'm very aware of that when I go on the computer. 
um, have to get up and exercise, have to do light, gentle Tai Chi exercises. This is about creating better circulation and also sensitivity down to extremities like toes and also winding down like a spring. Particularly good for lower back, for the lumbar region there as well. Uh, most people do get problems actually in the lumbar region, simply because it's the area which is, has the most uh, curvature through the spine, it takes the most load and therefore gets the most action. I'm going to do some seated exercises just for a change. So I'll just bring this over. see this. Okay. So if you do get tired you can always sit, you can always take a break, you can also uh, with the live videos you can also just stop there if you wish and then catch the saved versions later on. So when you do sit into a chair always recommend sitting back in such a way so that you allow for the curvature of the spine so that the spine just goes down, legs just come directly out, feet just come down as well and also you get the support on your feet coming out to there. So, again, just relax. So curvature from here, and I do get students who do need to sit, particularly the elderly, and can be around. Oh, excuse me. Projecting up. Very simple exercises like this. Now, if you feel as though you can't go up any further, uh, can't go above the shoulders, by all means, just to here. That's quite okay. You can also turn through the waist as well. So we're sitting down in the chair, we're actually pressing down and rotating, still rotating through the waist blades. So from here, digging out. You can also have the hands going the other way. So when we do come up, Coming back in the centre, come to there, and return through the waist again to our right hand side. One of my favourite exercises, and I'll do this when we do stand up as well, this exercise here where we project out just with both palms, and we just release. Simple exercise, just going up. I'm going down. When you do have the room, coming from here, this is gathering all the heavenly stars, or reaching for all the heavenly stars. Sinking back in posture. Extension through the body. And this is particularly working the upper body as well, which is my focus at the moment with COVID-19 to build the inter in internal integrity of the organs as well. Um, simple exercise like this. Rolling over the fingers. Hands is coming out to the, uh, just in front of the shoulders. Sit back in the posture, we push. And then we rotate through the waist. Through the wrist, I should say. And we look to our left hand side. Hands again just coming up to the shoulders. The elegant white crane breaks the door. Pushing down. Hands coming over. And we go to our right hand side. So for people who have uh, limited mobility or low mobility or disability, these exercises still inclusive. Very simple exercise to do and I do recommend this one. Sinking back in the posture, I've just lost my slipping down the chair a little bit. So just coming up. Coming up to the eyes and sinking back. And again, we can do this one to the side as well. Mm 
Go to our right hand side, so we breathe in. And we breathe out. Uh, with the chair, I do recommend a chair without any sides, so we're not um, uh, having any infringement with the sides as well, because what we can do, and I'll just go through that exercise we did before, this one here. This is the farmer grinds the corn. So imagine your arms like two big stone wheels grinding the corn. And we'll be doing this exercise for you standing up. We have a little bit more scope when we do stand up. We have a little bit more expansion and contraction, uh, which is good. Just to be. With any feet exercises as well, that's why I suggest both feet just firmly on the ground like this. Transferring weight over the right hand side, what we can do is just lift the heel and also just lift the toes. That foot can just come out a little bit further. So just slowly. If we did the exercise fast, yes, it can be effective aerobic exercise, but when we do slowly, we do with mindful awareness. In other words, what I talk about is understanding how your body works, and please do uh, understand how your body works and work with it, please. So simple exercises to do. Transfer the weight out to the left-hand side, and we lift the toes first, place the toes, and then we lift the heel. So again, we get that wrapping of the muscle stands, ligaments around bone, strengthening bone. Uh, very good for the um, uh, for the uh, for the bone marrow itself. Uh, the red blood cells transport oxygen, and the white blood cells help the immune system by uh, taking away it sets of fluid away from organs and also away from tissues as well. So we need good energy coming in. We need good oxygenation into all the extremities, uh, but also we need the uh, toxins, impurities, infections, etc. taken away from the body as well. Uh, with toes just to here, and Camino. I work with a lot of elderly, so I do these sort of exercises at retirement, at a retirement village. Very good exercises actually just for sensitivity alone. Transfer your weight over to the right hand side, lifting the knee and then just placing down. If we just did this with momentum, uh, really what we're doing is just, it's just swaying from one side to the other. But when we lift, again we do with mindful awareness and just coming back. So an exercise I do with them is just five, four, three, two, one, just lifting. And then five, four, three, two, one, holding. And then five, four, three, two, one, placing the foot. Transfer your weight over the left hand side. And five, four, three, two, one, in lifting. Five, four, three, two, one, in holding. And then five, four, three, two, one, placing the foot as well. We can also just come out with the heel up to there. And also come back. So today I just wanted to give you a variety of things to do. I know there's some people who do need the assistance of a chair. Uh, I do at times, simply because I've only got half the strength of my left leg. Placing that left foot down. So you can still do the exercises. It's simply just adapting them. If you can't do the full range, by all means, please adapt. And we come back. Okay, I'll put the chair back and continue with the uh, with the exercises standing. So please bear with me. Okay. So from here. 
sinking back in posture. We transfer weight over the right hand side, we swivel with that left foot to there, it's coming out and rotating. And also the other way. Rotational aspects all the way through the foot, through the knee, through the hip. Placing that left foot down, transferring weight over the left hand side, making sure we have secure surface and then stepping out with the right foot. Very good for joints. We have 26 bones in each foot, so 52 bones, that actually accounts for more than a quarter, of the, uh, more than a half actually, of the bones in the body. And coming back in the centre. If you've been on your feet for some time, always recommend this exercise. Sinking back in a posture. This is very good for strengthening through the, through the feet, through the legs. We have low centre gravity. We also have the balance created from the upper through the middle to the lower areas of the body as well. And also the pumping action here upon the quadriceps is very good for the venous return back to the heart. So it is about ensuring good heart health. Warming the blood in winter, but also cooling the blood in summer. So very good for any palpitations, any irregularity of the heart, high or low blood pressure. It's an excellent exercise. So I always recommend that if you're standing in line at the bank, whatever, um, and at the shops um, because of COVID-19, standing in line, waiting to progress into the shops, very good exercise to do. I wouldn't recommend that one. Okay. So, sinking back in a posture. First exercise from Shibashi 2 or Shibashur Ur in Mandarin. So we sit down to go up, establishing that, that safe foundation and projecting up. You can also just come up on your toes as well and projecting back. Very good exercise, particularly for opening up all the spaces through the disc, uh, projecting up through the top of the head as well. And also very good for the, I always think of this as a very good breathing exercise. It's standing up. And I'm just going to divert there because this is an exercise we actually use. Uh, this is from Lohan One. So we cup our hands like this as if we're picking up something very heavy, coming up to the waist. Hands into a prayer position like this, we breathe out. Sinking back into posture, bending the knees again, sitting. We're actually sitting with the body. So it's like preparing to sit into a chair or coming from the chair, preparing to stand. We breathe in. If you wish, you can come up on the toes and breathe out. Breathe in there as the hands come forward. And breathe in out. As we breathe in, as we come back towards the body, hands just rolling over, and again we follow that course of action where we're stimulating, invigorating the uh, uh, the bladder meridians as we come down, but also the kidneys. Uh, if you want to spend a little bit more time actually uh, massaging kidneys as well, if you do have any renal problems there, I always recommend that. And coming down, sinking back into posture as we breathe out. And the last part of this exercise, I love this exercise, I do this one a lot with my students. Three exercises simply just joined together. Again, into a prayer position like this as we breathe in. Get me up on the toes if you wish. And again, peacock unfolds the star. So we come back. Go through that again for you. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, this is the warrior, scoops the water. Coming up on the toes, the lotus spirals downwards, or the spiral of lotus. So we breathe out from there, very good for shoulders, very good for elbows, very good for all the joints within the wrist, and also the fingers, very good for the neck. Uh, any shoulder exercises are excellent for the neck. We breathe out as we breathe in, as we come back. A 
and breathe in as we come down. And again, we settle for the last exercise, last component of the exercise in that sack. So we come up to the waist as if we're carrying something very heavy. We breathe out, hands into a prayer position like this. Uh, very good for the pelvic girdle. I meant to say that as well. So apparently uh, males get just as many problems with pelvic girdle as women do. We come up and then just, it's just that extension out. Coming back around. So, coming back to the original exercise. This is the first exercise from Shibashi 2. Shibashur Ur in Mandarin. Peacock unfolds a star. If you can come up on the toes as well, very good for balance and coordination. Hands coming to there. And I always recommend actually just going down as we go up because we cement, we create that safe foundation. Low center of gravity, less chance of falling. Or if we do fall, we lessen the severity. Okay, um, coming out to here. Oh, transferring weight over the right hand side, we step out to the left hand side like this. Hands coming up into a prayer position. So we sink back into posture and we project out. Small heavenly roll. Breathing out as we come down. Breathing in. This is particularly very good exercise for the back, very good for breathing as well. So this actually emphasizes the conception vessel which comes up to here, which is the meridian, and the governing vessel which goes down the back. So this is part of the microcosmic orbit throughout the body. So a pathway of energy. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. What you can do, by the way, is come back upon that heel. So we sink back into posture as well. You notice how both knees are bent. Come back into centre, placing that left foot down, transferring weight over left, left hand side, creating a safe foundation. We swivel with the right foot. We come out on the heel as well. Breathing in. You can always take a breath all the way in, all the way out. If you feel you need to take another breath, breathing in and breathing out. Small heavenly roll. Second exercise from Shibashi 2. Bringing that right foot back in. Next exercise I find is a very good flexibility exercise simply because of, I haven't got that in my left, left leg. So you notice most people are right side predominant. So you find more flexibility actually in the right hand side and more strength. Stepping out to here. Now, key point about this, again, is always just going as far as what you feel comfortable. So this starts off like waving arms in the air and the horse running stands. So we come out to here, we're on the heel as well. Our balance is going directly down through the body. And with our hands, as we breathe in, I'll just start this again, we breathe in. And we breathe out. So progressively just breathing out, coming down, just glancing the hands down as much as you feel possible, and breathing in. Needle at the bottom of the sea, so as if, oh, we lost something down there, so we're just going down to pick it up. can do is actually place the foot in such a way when we do come back, that's when you can come up on the heel. And just relax. Hands just coming back into centre around the chest. We place that left foot down. 
transferring the weight out to the left hand side, making sure that's safe, stepping up with our right foot to the knee. And breathing out, so your pre to go down. It is a very good exercise. I do this as much as, I, uh, as, much as possible, just to create that flexibility on both sides. back into centre. Transferring weight out the right hand side, we step out onto the heel of the, uh, the left foot to there. My right hand just comes up to here. See how it's just level with the shoulder? The palm is projecting out like I'm making a gift. My, right, my left hand is coming back. I always think of my left hand actually pushing towards the uh, a back, um, a back surface like a wall to actually give me that stability to actually come forward. Sinking back into posture. And it's like tapping down a tennis ball, just in slow motion. So breathing in, with them up, and breathing out. The willows fluttering in the breeze. So imagine yourself like a, a, a tree. So we have extensions, uh, the branches and also the leaves, coming forward and coming back. Very good for balancing the left and the right hand side of the body, the upper, middle also the lower areas of the body as well. And like a lot, uh, the, all the balancing exercises we do, it also balances, helps to balance the left and the right hand side of the brain as well. That left hand, we bring back that left foot to there, coming back into centre. You can just, if you feel you need that rest, you can always just relax there. Transferring weight out the left hand side, we step out with our right foot to there. Oh, and extend. The willows fluttered in fluttering in the breeze. Lifting and lowering through the body. bringing the foot back. Next exercise is excellent. I always think that this is a very good exercise for the back. So when we come over to on the right hand side, imagine a big big table here. There's a fishing net just so there. So when please don't bend over or lean over. So it's just there. It's easily accessible. So we breathe out as we come back into center. See how we sink back the posture. The body supports the movement. Again we have that extension from the shoulders extending out through the through the wrists through the fingers. We breathe in, we breathe out as we go over to the left hand side. Breathing in and breathing out. Fishermen, the fishermen cast the nets. Excellent for backs for all the uh, three reasons, all the three major muscle group areas actually through the back. Very good for abdominals as well. Abdominal muscles, abdominal muscles and also the internal organs always need massage. They need relief. Um, when we do sit too long, they get suppressed and repressed. So this is why they need extension and gentle massage. So they function effectively and efficiently. and coming back in the centre. The exercise we did before, sinking back into posture. Hands are extended out like this. We breathe in as we come towards the body. We extend back. Hands come out. The farmer grinds the corn. So imagine your arms like two big stone wheels grinding the corn.
Very good for shoulders. I think this is an excellent exercise for shoulders. Uh, any tightness, uh, any immobility for shoulders as well. Very good for raising, expanding through the chest as well. So very good for calming the breath, calming the heart, calming and focusing the mind as well. meditation number, number seven so what I'm going to be doing is actually going from my right to my left hand side and coming back with this exercise what you can do is actually step behind and I can only do this on one side so I'll just demonstrate that you sit back into posture and what you can do is step back to there I'm going to be doing an adaption of this so sinking back in posture you notice how the foot just goes out um, level with the shoulders again so we have the support as if we had the support from shoulders actually going down to going down to the heel as well we must have that gait that support out to there what I'm going to be doing is actually to there and I'll just get this and that just out of the way okay just from here so we sink back into posture what I'm going to be doing is actually just stepping back with my feet to here and coming directly down see how we have the support through the shoulders through the from the shoulders down through Feet. and also what we do is create a secondary support here with the hands we push the hands down and we come back into center so from here so step out step out on the toes and I come back Buddha in meditation Back in centre, I step back. Very good for good posture, very good for good breathing, very good for good focus. You can also use this position to actually stay, if you wish, a little bit longer. Very good for strengthening through the feet, through the legs. Strengthening through the back, also the abdominals here. Down to there. And our focus is forward. So always stepping out first to create that safe foundation and the rest of the body, the hands follow from there. center. Shoulder width apart. Going to be doing a movement here called um, Hit the Tiger's Ears and also what I'll be doing is um, uh, the next one which is um, uh, the Monkey Presents Fruit and what I'll do is actually put those two exercises together but I'll show you the individual exercises first. Transferring weight out the right hand side. We step out with our left foot to here and you notice how we have the curvature, we have the support through the body. So sinking back into posture, we project back with the hands. And with the wrists, we come forward. You see how I have the curvature through the arms. So arms come out like this and I rotate the, uh, uh, the knuckles in and just release. Breathing in and breathing out. And release again. To hit the tiger's ears or to strike the tiger's ears. We bring that left foot back in, transferring weight out the left hand side, making sure we have safe position. We step out with our right foot to here and we project back. Back upon the 
back hill as well. When we do come forward, not leaning forward, uh, not putting excessive um, strain or energy upon the front knee at all, and not leaning back in such a way so that we're taking ourselves off balance as well. Back coming back to there. We bring that right foot back in, come back, transferring weight over the right hand side, we step out with the left foot to here, back of hands coming up. I always think of myself actually in glass prism. So what I'm doing is pushing out with the palms, sinking back in the posture, and we come forward. So hands just coming up, just, just lower than the shoulders. This is the monkey presents a fruit or offers the peach. Uh, places like Bali or India, the monkeys come out to present the fruit. As soon as you go to get it, oh, just take it away. So cheeky monkeys. Great exercise actually for balancing. So we project back, so when we go towards the back, we come forward. When we come down low, we go up high. When we go up high, we come down low. Very good balancing exercise. I find this is excellent. See how the body comes back, hands come forward. The monkey presents the fruit or offers the peach. Pushing, releasing. one of the most uh, relaxing exercises you can do. Hands coming out to there, we bring our left foot back in, transferring weight over left hand side, establishing safe foundation, we step out with our right foot. Very good for projecting up through the spine, but expanding the chest as well. And we're also moving all the joints. If we don't move joints, we don't move. Uh, the Arthritis Foundation says if we don't use it, we lose it. In other words, we lose that foundation. So projecting. See how I just pushed back and I just release. And coming back into centre. Now, just putting both these exercises together, and they go really well. That's what I love about this exercise. Transferring weight up the right hand side. We step out to here. Um, yep. Oh, I'll do this part first. <laughs> can do it both ways, but I'll do this part first. So this is the monkey presents the fruit. We come back. We project back. And then we have tiger hits the ears. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Releasing. Back into centre. You have to excuse the noise there, but the council's working on the right outside. Transferring weight out the left hand side, stepping out with our right foot to there. So that curvature through the arms, sinking back into posture. This projecting back, so you can always massage the kidneys in the process as well. Hands is coming down.
Okay, that's good. Okay. One exercise I do want to go into, very good for breathing as well. Sinking back with Bashi. This one's from Shibashi X. This is the 11th exercise. So, shoulder width apart like this. This is all about good breathing, good focus, um, uh, and also good posture. So, imagine this is a challenge temple exercise. So, imagine you're down in a cold weather, cold river, and what you're doing is pushing down a big log. So, you're trying to submerge that log as much as possible. So, we push. And on the return journey, we lift up these jars. Earthen jars, full of water, very muddy, very slippery, and don't drop. So we push, push the log. 11th exercise from Shibashi X. Breathing in. And breathing out. Very good for good posture alignment. Very good for breathing. That harmony within the breathing, that full and flowing breath, all the way through the diaphragm, through the internal organs, uh, into the chest, and then uh, that relaxation. And that's why I do suggest actually that a breathing technique where we just breathe all the way in through the nose, and then uh, we inspire through the mouth as well. It's a cleansing breath, cleansing all the way through the body. It's actually much more effective and just breathing out through the nose. And also one of my favorite exercises as well. Sinking so back into posture, just with soft fists. So we do one, we do two, Three, hands just come out to here, effectively just using the elbows. See how the right hand just comes, just in front of the fist there, and we push out. There's a number of ways which we can do this. Focus is on the palm, the fingers. This is the warrior, bends the bow. We just release. Turn around for you. So again, we're going from our right to our left hand side, so we'll just do that one again. So we do one. Two. We do three. Coming back, sinking back the posture, projecting out, and then we just release the right hand. Separating the clouds. We come back to here, and again we have the closed fist. Again we have the focus actually on the palm. Projection out of the thumb and also the second finger. But the palm is effectively pushing out to there, and we just release. And also do that one with closed fists as well. Nothing tense. Firm, but not tense, please. The movement is always loose, agile, and flexible, but with the wrist, just holding the wrist. So it's soft, soft movement, please. Soft fist. This have to be. I'll just do that one more time. Just stretching out. If you wish, you can only just come up to the shoulders, just up to the chest to here. You can even just come down a little flow if you wish. Just to there. So again, 
also sit down in a posture, you can enjoy that moment there. It's a good strengthening exercise, particularly through the back, also through the legs as well. So again, it's like sitting into a chair or preparing to sit or prepare to coming out of the chair to stand. And we just relax. Okay, we're going to the lotus. Um, by all means, uh, through the sessions, if you wish to have water, I personally just wait until the end. I'm quite okay with that, but I, I do appreciate you do need to hydrate uh, regularly, and that's what I do at the end of the session. So, I'll go through the lotus for you because I know a lot of my, my uh, veteran students do love that. So, easy exercise to do. And this is a very good preparation. So, shoulder width apart, sinking back in a posture. All we're doing is actually lowering, effectively lowering and balancing the body. And also we feel that movement with the hands actually upon the quadriceps. Again, very good for the heart because it aids the venous return back to the heart. It's good heart health. It's very good for all the muscles, tendons, ligaments, strengthening the wrapping around bone. It's also about bone breathing as well, allowing the bone to expand and to, contr to contract. Because in Chinese medicine, we think of the bones as, as a living organ, and I quite agree with that. Commencement. We have waving arms in the air and the horse running stance. Breathing in as we come up, breathing out as we go down. Turtle, transporter. So imagine your arms like the fins of a turtle. So we wrap the hands around, place the hands on the shoulders, and then squeeze the shoulders as much as possible to get that stale, stale resident air out of the body as well. And it's not just through the lungs, it's through the, all the cavities. So rapid digs the earth. So I always imagine scooping air in through the diaphragm, in through the internal organs, into the lungs. Coming up to a point, never hold your breath please, and just release. And hands go back, they come forward. Scooping fresh spring water, pouring it on the left. The lotus flower blooms over the swamp. Excellent exercise for all the joints within the wrist and also the fingers. And the rains fall down. So we come down to a point, we're pulling down, and then we push up again. The crops grow towards the sky. Coming up on the toes, you can hold this position for as long as what you wish. And just coming back down again. We gather with that left hand. Gather in the palm to breathe in as we come up to centre line. Turn through the waist and we push. So body supports the movement, the rotation through the waist. We push with the palm. Can't push you further, so we just release. Turn waist, push hands, or to push the door, or to push the temple door, or to face the wind, or to push the palm, or to press the wind. From the belly button, we lift the sky, coming up to the eyes, to press the earth. Always bending from the waist, bending from the knees, please. Only going down as far as what you feel comfortable. To scoop, to gather, to press up. Through the feet, through the legs. The left hand pushes up, right hand equally pushes down. The elegant white crane stretches its wings in the morning sun. Very good diagonal stretch all the way through the chest and also through the back. Highly recommend this exercise. Last two exercises. Snow wrapper digs the earth. And we start the form. We finish the form. With waving arms in the air of the horse rain stands. And may I suggest placing the hands just below the belly button, the dantian, center of energy. A few quiet breast blades. Standing Zen.
and it's falling away. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brad Holmes, Tai Chi Gold Coast. Uh, please um, have a look at the uh, saved videos as well on um, Facebook uh, under Tai Chi, uh, uh, tai Chi Gold Coast and also Tai Chi event page and also under Brad Holmes. Look forward to seeing you next.